In this video, we're going to walk through how to use the pit detection function. Pit detection can be used to characterize multiple negative defects or features for applications including corrosion. First, I'll add our pit detection function. And this can run on the full field of view or a region of interest. In this example, I'll define this region of interest and click Analyze. The output of pit detection includes the characteristics of every found pit, in addition to the number of pits and the coverage percentage. If I select the advanced settings pencil icon here, we can open that up and see what input parameters we have. We can set the nominal feature size and the clipping plane depth. These two parameters are used by the algorithm to help find the pits in the region of interest. You can set nominal feature size to be the approximate size of the pits that you're looking for. And the clipping plane depth will determine what valleys we want to consider pits. In this example, maybe I'll set this to 400. The rest of the input parameters are used for filtering, so they can be used to ignore pits outside of certain specifications. So we just updated our nominal feature size, and now you can see it did group some of these smaller pits together as a single pit. We can now reference our table down here. We could sort the table based on the column headers. Maybe we are interested in the deepest pit. And we can even select a specific pit and view it in the scan. I selected pit number 22, which is the deepest pit in my field of view. Maybe I want to ignore pits that are less than a certain depth. I can go ahead and click on this filter icon here and only show pits that are greater than maybe 40 micron and click filter. Now you'll see I'm left with the pits in this table. If we want to export this table, we can right click and select copy to clipboard or export CSV.